Kobe Show. Let's do this. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. So, welcome to the On One Podcast. This is obviously our first first rodeo. Um, it's not your first one, is it? But it's for me. First Good time. To be back. Good to be back. First time being on a podcast. Yeah. Um, my name's Elliot. Uh, Liam. Named Liam. Yeah. And um, we're be- well, basically we're big. We've been big promoters, event organizers for quite a, quite a number of years now. Um, too long. <laughs> yeah, way too long. <laughs> and I guess the reason the podcast is called On One is because we are always on one. We're always out. We're always partying. That's Last stuff. night, I'm hanging up my ass today. Yeah, really rough. <laughs> <laughs> so that's like, yeah. Um, so I don't know if you want to talk a bit about yourself, or like your background, and and then I'll do the same. And yeah, well, um, from there, really. I think why we've clicked so well, you know, as as mates, and mm. you know, I see it as a brother right now as well. Um, obviously, we've been doing the same thing for like nearly ten years. Yeah, you know, yeah. promoting you were promoting in London. Um, so obviously what I do, I've got a business called Ombre Exclusive Parties. Um, I've been a promoter, lived in Spain, Dubai, England for a very long time. And obviously when I was in Dubai, I, I sort of made the decision to um, come to Bali to sort of, you know, just find myself again, mm-hmm. you know, I sort of lost myself in Dubai, you know, yeah. being around certain people. And, you know, Spain was the same. Um, and, and so was London and England as well at the same time. But... When I've come to Bali, I just knew this was home, you know, yeah, and yeah, sort yeah. of found myself, you know, meeting good people. The energy here is different. Yeah, yeah. and I, I hear it a lot from a lot of people who come to Bali. It was the same for me. Like, I've. Because you've been here nearly. How long have you been, been here? Now? Just, yeah, just over three years now. Like, so for, the thing is, for me, like, I was I was a big promoter in London. I had a whole team in London, yeah. and we, and we were promoting, and like, I thought I had a happy life, I was yeah. enjoying it. It was only really until I came to Bali and noticed the energy, the people. The, yeah. It's not, it's not the same. So there's no pretentiousness here in yeah. Bali. People are just genuine. But it is what it is. It Everyone's here for the same reason, exactly, really, aren't yeah. they? Like everyone you meet is just a real, real good yeah, person. Yeah, yeah. They're like real people, you know. Yeah. And um, like people with nothing are just so happy. Yeah. And I feel like the world at the moment now, everyone thinks they need this. They need that lifestyle, or yeah. they need certain things, but. You don't need that in Bali, you know. Yeah. I'm just on my end max and yeah, just, yeah, exactly, just yeah. happy, you know, yeah. on a day to day basis. Have. It doesn't matter what, like where you came from, your background, anything. Everyone doesn't really care about that. Yeah, yeah. That's exactly. That's what, what I love about this place, and I met such a gr- great group of friends. Of exactly and came here with my cousin as well, and obviously I started LOV Events yeah. Company here. So um, what does like LOV stand for? Like you know, obviously just explain like what, what you know, you say the love show and yeah, stuff, yeah. and people like what. What is LOV and so what, I mean what? originally LOV was was our promoter team name in London. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I I started that with a group of uh, like French guys. Um, the main guy being Joel. Yeah. yeah. Um, hopefully he'll be out here soon, so we yeah, can have yeah, a little yeah. chat with him on the podcast that's as that's well. Awesome. And um, I actually asked him what what <laughs> like because he actually came up with the name Love originally, and he was like. Love is slang for money in French. Okay. At the time, so ah. uh, but it's also that that's that's originally where it came from. Okay. But then, I did not know uh, that. But but to be honest, it's kind of I feel like it's all kind of happened for a reason because we kind of came to Bali and continued LOV to a, to another level. We started the Love Show, which was a YouTube channel about us and all our friends coming together as a community and enjoying yeah, ourselves. Yeah. And it was. We, we 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 started doing parties here just for the fun of it yeah. because we all we just love to party like, just yeah. like, just like you do and then, yeah. and like it it became love as in like yeah just connecting everyone yeah. together and having a good time and bringing and people together that's it that's it that's that, that that's what that's what LV was all about and that's what it's going to continue to be about and yeah. um and obviously we I'm 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 very talented at what I do you, you are top you, promoter. Yeah, top promoter. Top shagger. <laughs> <laughs> and then I met you, and then you, you pretty much had a similar life, had a similar sort of brand, and yeah, it's, mad, it's mad where it's come to now, isn't it? Yeah, because I originally yeah. met you, didn't I, on, on your rooftop yeah. about, how long ago now? Three, four months ago? Yeah. Three, and then we just months. clicked. Yeah. And then from there, we've just been enjoying life, you know, building on things. Like, we've got some big plans, you know, you've got your, your launch coming soon, haven't you, for Halloween? Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Because we're doing... There's a big, massive Halloween event on the 27th of October, October, yeah. which you'll be launching as well, yeah, like your yeah, sort yeah. of lifestyle brand yeah. as well. So we, we've we, we've got a massive villa called Sabra Estate. Um, 
and it, it, it's the gaff, isn't it? It's it is the gaff. It's, it's the best feel I've ever seen in Bali, and we, we literally, I, I remember when we walked in there, and yeah. we were just like, this is the one. It and, is. And we have been lucky enough to have been given the opportunity to, to throw the event there, and um, launch the other side of our business now. Is so we're not just doing events and parties. We're also going to be doing a whole lifestyle brand where you, you can you can come party with us. You know, we, you can we can book villas for you, concierge, police escort, um, private security, yachts, or the whole shebang really. And we just want to kind of bring everyone together and and just show 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 the Bali lifestyle to everyone all around the world. So I but guess that that's what it is. I think. Like people think it's so far away, mm, you know, mm. but like when you're here, you realize like this yeah. it's, it's the place of opportunity yeah, as well. Yeah, exactly. Like everyone's here for different reasons and stuff, but everyone wants everyone to do well, you know, yeah. it's that type of place. It's yeah. not like where like people are enemies or people get jealous if you're doing certain things. Everyone supports each other in, in their own aspect, you know. So yeah, yeah. the Halloween thing's big, but it's just going to be like a domino effect for it everything. Is, it is. It's going to be, it's going to be big. And we're, I'm gonna, and we're definitely going to be on one. Yeah, that is why we call it the On One Podcast, because we're, we're always fucking on one. Yeah. It's like um, tonight five, you go again, don't you? Five, five, six days a week. Oh, I'm so on go over today, man. <laughs> Honestly, lads. Wow. It is. It is. Uh, it's, it's, it's funny doing a podcast on over, to be honest. Yeah, it is. It is. <laughs> it is. But like... It's like Bali's not just this place to be on one and party. There's yeah, there's yeah, there's yeah. stuff for everyone. Yeah, like you can you literally can go to north of the island and camp on a volcano, you know, yeah. you can go to Uluwatu or any beach in, yeah. in Bali and surf. It's like there's so much yeah. to do. It's not just exactly. a I've place been, to be on I've one. I've been fortunate enough to travel all around the world thanks to my family and just like yeah. I've never found anywhere as balanced as Bali. Exactly. I feel like it's the perfect balance of every any sort of lifestyle you want. No, I, hear, I hear so many times people coming here and saying, I'm coming here for a quiet life to, to get away from from the from all the stuff that you have in all yeah. these first world countries now. First world countries now and you, you I remember when I met you you also said a similar sort of yeah, thing. Yeah. And, I mean I've got you on one again but Yeah, it was, yeah. It was, it was, it was it, obviously when I when I first <laughs> come here I saw they come here to, um, as I've been doing events for like, you know, nine, ten years, being yeah. a promoter, always, always out, like four or five times a week, just, you know, I, I had that sort of lifestyle where, you know, you, you, I was on one, as, as I say, but um, <laughs> when I first come here, I was completely sober, three months, you know, just, just enjoying, like, life, I had a complete detox off the events as well, just sort of took a little bit of a step back, but, you know, as I say, when when I met you, it's it's given me that opportunity again to sort yeah. of, even though I'm on one, it's 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 given me that you know that fire in my belly again, you know to to do well and you know to succeed and yeah. and start doing yeah. big events and providing that lifestyle again. But yeah. this time I'm not doing it for like the money or the you know the interaction. It's I'm doing it because I, I enjoy doing it. Yeah. You know yeah. I, I, I enjoy. I feel that's the, that's the way you have to do it. Anything yeah. in life, like I, I can't remember who said it to me recently. They said like. If you're doing something to make money, yeah, you're never gonna make that much. That's money. what I'm saying. If it you is. do something with passion and you enjoy exactly. it, exactly, and you just build and live for the every day and just doing That's little it. things, is is gonna come. It's That's gonna it. Come. Like I, it's the satisfaction when, like yeah. you know, even for like yeah. the Halloween and stuff, it's. I just want people to have a good time. You know that that's the main thing why I've always done it. You mm. know, like creating the art as well, like the yeah. production and. Yeah. And like getting that satisfaction when you you know you speak to someone at your event and go you're having a good time and they're like this is the best night ever because yeah. a lot of stuff now in England and it's anywhere really it's it's not all about like you know getting a table getting bottles it's it's more of an experience yeah. you know yeah. when you walk yeah. in there and go like what was yeah. that like, yeah. like I think that's what's made us stand out as well here yeah. like. Uh, every event that we do, we don't just do. We do, like you said, it's not just your tables, your DJs, and a dance floor and bring people. It's it's about well, you want to walk away thinking like that was one of the best nights I've ever had. It Where, is. Whether it's you have acts, whether it's there's something creative you do within the party, whether it's just us and our energy and yeah. people like to be around us. Like we are quite magnetic people, I find, yeah, yeah. and a lot of people do say that. So I feel like that's why when people come away from parties, they go, okay. This this was a good one, and I think that that's that that's how it always has to be. No, one hundred percent. It is always does. It is. It's like another part of Bali. What I like as well is you know being in Asia. You know, like yeah. around that place where you can like we went to Bangkok, didn't we? Yeah. That right. was that was some good fun. You know. Yeah. yeah. 
And what was that like? Four hours on a flight, weren't yeah, it? Four hours, and it was. And it's it's next just to nothing. It's flight, cheap right? and cheerful, yeah. lad, isn't it? It's like the stuff yeah. you can do there. The nights yeah. out, we got looked after, didn't we? By yeah, what was yeah. her name? The promoter. Um, what was her name? So far away that it was her Instagram. <laughs> I can't remember. <laughs> so, yeah. We went to a place there called. So, sorry uh, if you're watching this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's happened to me before. That <laughs> went to a place called Sing Sing. It was like kind of theatre, wasn't it? Yeah, it was a bit of a gaff. It was yeah. a good, good fun. It was good fun. Yeah, but yeah, exactly. That is, Asia, for me, Asia is the place to be now in the it's world. It's the best like, there's place a, in the world. There's, man, a, lot of, there's a lot of shit going on all over the world now. There's 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 wars going on. There's the 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 markets of uh, the markets are fucked. Like <laughs> to be honest with you, I don't even I don't even I haven't watched telly for six uh, months. No, no, no. I, I watch a bit of YouTube and stuff, yeah. but I don't really know yeah. what's going on in the yeah. world right now. We're just. I'm just here. I'm enjoying the moment. It's, living it's, the it's moment. funny you say that because whenever I speak to anyone back home. Or they come here on holiday. They say, "Oh, Bali's just like being in a bubble." But I look at it the other way around. Yeah. Like, for me, this what this, is a bubble, though? Exactly. This like, this is real life. It is. Like I'm here. I'm having fun. I'm enjoying my life. I'm not thinking about all You've these. Got it on your armor. Show them your armor. So, that's it. It's a little bit messed up, but that's Bali <laughs> there. Bali's for life. Bali for life, lad. And um, yeah, like it's like this. This is real life. To enjoy your life. To be happy and live in the everyday and just yeah, it is like. I'd, uh, that's just what life's about, lad. Because I speak, I, I spoke about it before. It's like everyone just is so pressurized, you know, mm -hmm. like the way Instagram is and yeah. like this big one, big competition and stuff. But you just want to live in a moment. Like yeah. there's no point stressing out and like life's too short. Yeah, you know, you no, need to enjoy exactly. the moment, live in the moment, yeah. and yeah. you know, people don't really understand that. And I say to anyone who's, who's even watching this, is like just just travel, find yourself, like get a one way flight, and you know. Just see what happens. You, you can always go back to your hometown because, like for me, I've always said it. You know, when you go back to your hometown, you'll notice nothing's changed. Yeah. So yeah, for yeah, me, yeah. the biggest investment is, <laughs> is you still have the same bus driver, the same yeah. person who works in your local shop. Yeah. Nothing would have changed. The other day, and he was like, he goes home, and all anyone ever says is, "Oh, yeah, so so and so had a kid, and yeah, exactly, this happened, and it's just." But as me, as me father says, it's. Like there's nothing wrong with that. If yeah, that makes yeah, them yeah, happy, no, of course, of if course, that makes yeah, them happy, then. Yeah. But for me, if, if if anyone's you know lost or anything, just yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, instead of buying like you know shopping or you know or like these nights out, just invest on in a, on a one way flight, and it doesn't have to yeah. be Bali. It could be anywhere. I'm not yeah. saying Bali's for everyone. Yeah. You know, you can uh, just, just travel anyway. It's open. Just opens your mind. It like, opens your mind. It really does. Like like I was. I used to live in the Middle East in Bahrain and. I moved there with my family, and I remember the day my dad told me we were moving to the Middle East, yeah. this country called Bahrain that no one had ever even, I had yeah. even never even. So heard you went of to it. school there, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. So I went to school there, and like. How old was you then? So I was probably around ten, eleven, I think. Was there ever a thought in your head where like you didn't want to go, or were you? Just... No, that's what, that's what I mean. When my dad told me, I was like, I'm not going. I'm not oh, going. Really, yeah. I, when my dad was like, well, so you, you want me to just leave here then, 11, yeah. 11 years old by yourself in the house? Yeah. And I was like, yeah, I was just like, this little little stubborn brat and. And it, ironically, when I left Bahrain five, six years later, I didn't want to leave. I didn't want to come back. So it's like, I really feel like that opened my mind. And like, I feel yeah. like everyone needs to just travel or experience a different culture, go somewhere with international. Uh, yeah. It, it yeah. gives you them people skills yeah, as well. Does, like when, when you're around people with like different cultures, backgrounds, yeah. like different, you know, you know, you know, race and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah. It's it does open your eyes and yeah. I feel like a lot of people are very narrow minded and yeah, stuff. So yeah. when you're around them type of people, lad, it, it really it does help you with a lot of things like yeah. business, work, yeah. Yeah, yeah. just just day to day life and it, it does open your eyes that the that, you know, that there's, there's so more much to out life there. than your town than, than, than the town that you live in. There is. And that like that's that that that's the that's the reality of it. And like I remember just like even just when I used to live in a little small town in 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 Wigan in the UK, there was a yeah. uh, oh Wigan, whoa! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There was it would be like sorry to anyone from Wigan by the way, <laughs> it is though, it's nah. true. <laughs> <laughs> Not gonna deny it, but <laughs> there's there'd be like competition, like who's got the best grass on the front of the lawn, like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it gets to that level when when people don't think of the world from a, like from a bigger perspective, you know what I mean by that? It's it just is. like it is. It, 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 it's sad, really, like. There is so much more to life, but like like you just said, if people are happy, that's the main thing. Yeah, like some is. some people are uh, some people can't afford to travel, and yeah, and I completely true. understand that. And but if you're, I feel like 
you just need to be happy in the position you're in. Yeah, and I wasn't happy. Like, I, I, I'd lived in the Middle East. I'd already travelled. I'd seen this world. Or, and I feel like that can also be a sort of curse for to be an expat. Yeah. Once you've already done that and you've gone out there and seen the world, I feel like you're never not going to want to do it again. Yeah. If you know what I mean? Like, I came back to the UK and all I was thinking about was get me back out in yeah. the sun, get me, get me back out you into this lifestyle. You feel a bit lost, don't you? It's, yeah. it, as I say, when you said before, a bubble, yeah. it's, it's, it's not a bubble. You know, it's, it's, yeah. normal, it's a normal life over here. You know, we have structured work, yeah. you know, you, you know, you're promoting for good places yeah. like you know, these places yeah. like Savaya, you've got your brand, you know, and, and life's good. You know, it doesn't have to be like sort of pressured. You know, it's, mm. it's, it's not for everyone, but... Yeah. It's definitely something that I fucking love doing anyway. Yeah. But yeah. But um <laughs> and this get edited, yeah. <laughs> this gets edited out, yeah, doesn't yeah, yeah. it? I'm trying to think like <laughs> I'm just hanging bro. <laughs> just trying to think now. What we can sort of go on to now. <laughs> Nah, we talked about good, a, lot, a lot of good stuff, to be honest. Um, it's only been on for like 20 minutes, though, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is there anything that you want to sort of speak about? Like, sort of like what we're going to be going over the next few weeks, or...? Yeah, I guess we can just talk a bit... Of, uh, <laughs> just talk a bit, little bit about, like... What a daily life is for us, and yeah, yeah. and and a bit about for people people back home who haven't been to Bali, and like like you wake up, most of the time it's sunshiny. Right now it's not because it's rain <laughs> season. You jump, get on your, we get on our N Max. I get on the little twist and go bikes, go to the <laughs> go go find a nice cafe or go to the gym first, and then that for, for me that's my favorite part of the day is literally going to the gym and going for breakfast afterwards and yeah. Um, having our five eggs and bacon or whatever we do. <laughs> kind of, diet. <laughs> diet. Yeah. And, um, and that is like a, that is like an average morning and that's why like, I've, I've, <laughs> is when my parents came out, they were like, I see why you never want to come home because you'd like to go out for breakfast in the UK, when do you ever do that? But I, I never went out for breakfast in the UK once. What the, <laughs> the force of the UK, man? <laughs> <sighs> and then, yeah, and then it depends. Like obviously like at the moment we've obviously got this Halloween party coming up so we just, 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 Having meetings every day, meeting with people, networking. The, the the good thing is about Bali, there's always something going on, so yeah. you never get bored. There's there's either an event or a party, or there's friends doing something active. Or you can just jump on your max and go to a waterfall, go yeah, to a temple. Yeah, yeah, exactly, you can literally yeah. do everything here. It's, yeah. it's just got everything. Yeah, like it's 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 literally got everything you need. Yeah, literally like there's there's not a day that goes by where you can sit there and go, oh, I'm bored. There's, there's, there's so much to do. And we're them type of people where, like, we get up and go because we have always been, like, promoters and doing events. We're yeah. sort of them type of people that we need to be doing something no, all the time. And, and Bali's got that. And also, yeah. also, as well, it's like, it doesn't... It's it's all cost efficient as well. Where it doesn't cost you much, you yeah, know. You can yeah, yeah. you can go, jump on your M Max, which costs, like, £5 English to fill up for, yeah. for like... Might probably last you for the week and yeah, yeah, yeah. go to a, like like a temple so. that cost you a hundred k, which is like what is a hundred k now? It's like yeah, the, the market's a bit, it's changed. It's it's a bit it's, 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 it's it used to be about five pounds, yeah, hundred. Yeah. So, yeah. No, no, exactly. And then like even like rent, rent here, like what are we paying like <laughs> five six five mil five mil a month. Yeah, because I, f- I feel like a lot of people get put off with the flights, you know, yeah, even yeah. from England and stuff. That's probably the big expense. That's the biggest the expense because when you're here, yeah. you, you can do everything on a on a real on a real budget. Yeah, yeah, you can do all you or you can spend a lot of money. Here. Yeah. It depends what sort of person you are. Depends what you want to do. Yeah, but that's that's what I've noticed here as well because where we are, the people that I'm meeting, it's like you know people from America, Australia. Mm-hmm. You know, like places like J- Jakarta, like these, just yeah, real, exactly. real big people. It's 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 opened a lot of doors for me in in a lot of ways, and yeah. I feel like you know, networking is priceless in in that way. You know, with the people that you're meeting and stuff. So, it is that type of place where you just it just opens every door possible, no matter what you do. If it could be sales, could be a promoter, you could be a sh- any any type of job role. It's all there for you. Yeah. You know, yeah, it, is. It, it is that type of place. It really is. But um, as I say, it's like 
we're just constantly on one, aren't we? <laughs> it's getting to that point where, like today, I'm I'm so hungover, lad. Like, yeah. my head's so sore, bro. Like, <laughs> honestly, lads, don't even know I made it to the studio today. Drinking too much. It is. It's it was fun. a good night, though. It was a good night. It was. You have to. I think mean, that's like, like I've been saying it because everyone's like, oh, like, how do you do it every night, all the, all the time? And it's like. I, first of all, I love it. I enjoy it. Yeah. I love going out. I love partying. I'm not going to deny that. <laughs> <laughs> Secondly, it's, it's, it's one of them, like, people, people reciprocate energy and, like, we're, we're those guys who would always just have good energy when we're out and I feel like whenever we're not drinking or we're not really on one, people notice it. Yeah, like, yeah. What's wrong with you? Like, you know what I mean? And <laughs> then it's drink. also hard as well. Like, you're going out and there's always someone handing you a shot. Yeah, yeah. Someone saying, come on, let's have one, to, let's have a drink. It and is. It's, it's, it's one of them. But like, to be honest, the, the, the best thing about what we do is, like you just said, the networking aspect. The fact that we are out five, six days a week, because that's, 100%. Like, we, we meet everyone, everyone. Like, it's not, there's, there's hardly any place I go in Bali where I don't know someone in the place I go into now. Exactly, and like that is that is valuable in its own way because people real about realize what you're doing, you realize what other people are doing. You network, you meet interesting people all the time. It's like it was like the other night when we um when we were in the mail room and then that guy told us about that idea he had. Oh and yeah, it's yeah. Like like do you know what I mean? That came out the blue and it's something that we could potentially to potentially go ahead and do. And it's like that happens all the time here in Bali as well. Everyone, I feel like everyone's always in that sort of creative mindset as well here. 100%. Just, everyone's entrepreneurial everyone wants to make it and like that's the other thing i love about this place is that like no one's just sat in for for nothing if you know it's what got I mean. that it's, just, it's, it's either ever see you either have people here who have already made it or are trying to make it and they're doing everything possible to every single day to make that happen 100 percent. it's that type of place it is I recommend it for anyone, and that's what we sort of want to do the podcast for. We want to just yeah. sort of give people that sort of, you know, people message me all the time, like, oh, what's bad? Like, oh, looks like you're having a good time, this and that. And that's the reason why we sort of want to do this podcast to sort of, yeah. like, you know, show people, like, and explain to people what, what the Bali is and what we can, you know, what there exactly, is to do. Yeah, yeah and I, f- I feel like this first podcast is probably a bit more serious than perhaps other ones when we get other people yeah. on. But I feel like it's... It we want to build a report, don't we? And, yeah. You know, explain our relationship yeah. and yeah. How yeah. we, you know, what we do and, and Bali and just yeah, just kind of explaining to people like what 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 it entails having this lifestyle and then and then we can. I feel like like this is this is obviously going to be first of many podcasts with like getting people on and just asking them about what they do and have a little and you'll start to see that there's so many characters and yeah. funny people in Bali just from all over the world and that is. even some of our mates like. Yeah. Rue's a funny character. Everyone's a character. Everyone's a character. So. That, that, that's what Bali's like. Everyone <laughs> is just a character. Like, yeah. it, it's got that buzz about it. Like, no one's here. And just like, you know, if you're walking down the street, everyone's saying hello. And it's got that vibe. It's like, where you, you know, you might be in England or somewhere else where, you know, you might get like a dirty look off someone or yeah. if you look a certain way and stuff yeah. like that. But Bali's just, just saying hi on the tube. They'll be looking yeah. at you funny, <laughs> won't they? <laughs> so I'm saying in England, if you try and have a conversation with someone, you think you're weird. <laughs> you know, but here you like you speak to anyone and yeah. everyone, and yeah. you know even just the local people here are just so like genuine. You know, it's like even when you see people with like as I said before, with, with absolutely nothing, and you've always got a smile on the face, yeah. and that's what life's about. You know, yeah. people forget about that. Where you know it's you might not be here tomorrow. You know, it's yeah. it's that's what you need to do with life, and you need yeah. to enjoy it and have that. As I say, even though we're on one all the time, we have routine, don't we? We're yeah. in the gym yeah. every day. Yeah. You know, we got recovery. You've got. You know, it's life's about balance. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I, I, I don't think I'll be like this all my life, but at the moment I'm building. I'm, I'm, yeah. you know, I'm, I'm enjoying at the same time, and then, you know, one day I, I, I hope I am happily in, in like a relationship and got like a nice life and stuff. But at the moment I am just on one enjoying, what life, like life's about, lad, isn't it? Yeah, that's it. It is. Be happy so, and enjoy it. Enjoy it every day. That's what life's about. Rainy season at the minute, but <laughs> once that's blew over. It's all good, you know? Um, but yeah, I just want to just leave it as that. Yeah, I think we can just end it like that and then just cut out that little bit of us. Well, oh, maybe not, actually. It's pretty funny, just sat there just laughing, not knowing what to say, but first podcast, isn't it?
But yeah, they, um, <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna run it out with it now. So um, yeah, thanks for listening to the first episode of the On One Podcast. Peace. And um, <laughs> if you're in Bali, I'll, I'll see you tonight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, that's it. Peace. <laughs> that's it. Yeah, it's, um, we don't even have to get the first one out. That's the first episode to see what.